Who do you think, in your opinion, are the top five founders in the Philippines or wherever you want to give flowers to? Carbs, let's start with you. First pick. Yeah, no, um, uh, it, it, this really just ended up all female. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'll start with Mel. Uh, <laughs> why? 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 Um, no, it's it's really the passion. Uh, and, and I really, for me, um, oh, we're not gonna cry here. Okay, for me, it's like you know, exporting import. It's just super unsexy, right? But like, it's so it's such an important mission, and it's very difficult actually. If you hear all the back end of it, <laughs> no. Carbs and I talk so much. Yeah. Um, yes. That's why I got you both here. (laughs) And so, you know, for me, I just, I've always admired entrepreneurs to understand where, like, where they're really doing it for the mission. Um, Even if it's not sexy, it's, like, very difficult. And uh, and I personally, I'm very energized whenever I'm with Mel. Who isn't? Yeah. You're you're sick also if you're not energized. (laughs) And, you know, Mel is actually, she's been there with me, like, also on. She's very, like, empowering. Like, no, girl, you have to fight. (laughs) <laughs> she even said to me when we were almost dying, verbatim, this is not the hill you will die on. <laughs> wow. That, that is a strange phrase though. Very specific girl. Yes. Yeah, verbatim and, stuck on me like, holy shit. Ain't nobody, <laughs> nobody told me that ever. Oh, yeah. God. And then so yeah, for me, Mel Swan. Um, Wait. A host. Okay. okay. First pick. Who's your first, first pick? Well, carbs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, okay. this is not rehearsed. Yeah. This is exchange gift. It's not <laughs> even Christmas. It's not, um, yeah. It's not Christmas yet. Oh, no, wait, carbs. Well, yeah, I mean, carbs and I became like instant friends in like a trip in Bali. And I think mm. it is really because we were going were through the same Were you trying to export carbs? <laughs> okay. Yes, I was, I, trying to, I was trying to export her, you know, to different nationalities. Oh, wow. But, but, I, again. So that's a new <laughs> vertical of one export. <laughs> yeah. Human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys, the investors are watching this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay. No, so like I think part of why we really just got along was yeah. one, we just got so sick of the biases, I mean, and which we talked about. And it was like just navigating through we were actually technically the same stage. So mm. just navigating yeah. through, you know, metrics or what do investors want or who are the investors we have to look after, you know? Mm. So, like, those things uh, were very, very helpful. So, like, we became really good friends. Now, I think not just because we were going through the same things, but we were also very passionate with the mission that we were trying to solve. Like, education, it's, like, it's really, really hard to solve. Like, student loans, right? Giving somebody an yeah. opportunity to graduate, <laughs> right? And to get a degree and to get a nice job and to have equal footing in the Philippines is very, very important. And and Carbs is doing that, like, regardless of whoever gives her shit. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> like, like nobody, like, you know, nobody like... gives me shit. <laughs> <laughs> nobody is. Nobody. I'm sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, but really, like, it's just so hard of a mission to to solve and it's also just the fact that she's like no I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna regardless of money or no money I'm going to do this it's just it's just that it's also like we just kind of feed off each other's energy because yeah. it's like it's unfuckwithable energy that's what I call <laughs> it yeah it's like you know like no yeah. sorry guys you I, can't stop I think us. it's a uh, yeah, great founder friendships are kind of like like for me I gravitate to Mel because I feel like my weaknesses are her strengths mm. and, and my so, weaknesses are her strengths <laughs> <laughs> so it's like girl like yeah I've Feeling kind of like unconfident about this. She's like, no. <laughs> okay, like, this okay. is not the hill you die on, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, okay. Um, yeah, so thank you, Mel. All right, yeah. sounds good. All right, now the real list goes on because you cannot keep uh, <laughs> commending each other. What's your second pick, Second, um, I just saw her recently. Um, actually, me and Mel just saw her recently. Uh, Camille. Camille? Uh, Camille who? Uh, Ang. Camille Ang yeah. of? Hive Health. Hive Health. Camille Ang, why why is she a top founder in your um, opinion? Um, no, I, I I I'm a I'm one of the users of her product. Um and it it's like so so my company uses um them for They're, so you're they are your HMO provider. Correct. Okay. Yeah, and you know, like to see like I was telling her, you know, like the impact of your um company has been solid. Like our employees are like super happy. They're like, we never want to go back to like, you know. These brick and mortar, um, and I, I, I got my annual checkup, right? Okay. So I was, I was super, you know, with when you get your HMO, 
you have yeah. to and you need a checkup you need to file these letter of authorization yeah. you wait it's for annoying. many days mm-hmm. so I ain't got time for that shit right <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so like, I forgot about it. And like, I showed up in the hospital for my annual checkup. And then I was waiting in line for one hour. I'm like, oh shoot. Like, let me try and file that in the app. Maybe it'll mm. like arrive. And like, it literally arrived within the next hour before my turn. And I'm like, that is insane. Like, wow. that's like, like others take three days. Right. Yeah. And so I was like, I didn't, I ended up, ended up not spending, but I, I think it's really, um, it's a very sort of difficult industry yeah. also, again, very unsexy, right? Yep. Like it's, um, and I don't know what you girls keep looking at unsexy <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and for me, it's like healthcare, it's like super important. Yeah. Uh, so my third is also like in, in, in the healthcare, okay, but later. I won't. <laughs> Clip hanger so shout that out. out to Camille. Camille Ang of Hive Health. And again, shout out to Jawen also her co-founder. All right. Um for you, Mel, what's, what's your second pick? Um, I'd say Ray Rafundo of Quickware. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Why? When I started One Export, I was mm-hmm. still working for a consulting company. And like okay. Ray was one of the guys that said, Go quit your job. <laughs> like you can't. <laughs> You can't do oh. this mm-hmm. if you're not committed. And right. like, um, you know, so we were, I met him when we did the Maybank FinTech Challenge, which is basically one of those, you know, competitions when you're starting out yep. and stuff yep. like that. And it's like, you know, like um, the guy gives like free advice. Like he will like make time for you. Like sometimes you will say like, Ray, I need help with something. Yep. And he will make time for you and he will listen to you rant and he will say, this is what I did. And, you know, and he's one of those, the kindest founders yeah. like ever. Like, totally. like, you know, he will give you time. He's mentored like, you know, the likes of Paymongo or the, you know, any other startup that needs his help, he will make time yep. to give forward. Um, But he's also like legit, legit kind like you know he will uh you know i would go to his office sometimes because we were in the makati area and he will buy food for his employees yep. or he will you know he will take things out of pocket right wow. to do stuff for people right and you know even when say people try to like take advantage of him um which has happened a couple of times like you know he will stuff from his own pocket so people don't feel like they've been taken advantage of. Right. So I feel like it's like he's almost like a saint but like Wow! That like, is heavy diba? praise. Saint diba? Ray Ripundo diba? pray for us. <laughs> Totoo naman okay. eh. Like he's so nice. It's like I yeah. mean I would tell him like if I if that happened to me I would do this. Right. Like you know and and Wow, like it's it's like amazing. I'm laughing because like, I have a funny Ray Rufundo uh, story, but I will not 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 uh, un unsaint him anymore. <laughs> one, but yeah, Ray is such a again, saint. Yeah, uh, still a saint again at the end of the day. And the 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 amount of people he's built up, his cousins, the people, his team. He's not that type where he, I'm just gonna be the only one that thrives. Everybody that is around him is winning now. Yeah, yeah. And you know, right. actually, I'll tell you, like, I think there was a point in time where we interviewed somebody from Quickware. Sorry, right. Ray. Sorry. Hala! Ray. Who sorry. is it? I wasn't trying to annoy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. So we offered, we gave an offer and like, she decided to stay because she said something like, um, Ray is the same. <laughs> no, no, she didn't say Ray is the same. But um, she said like, no, Quickware helped me at the toughest of times and I don't want to leave them. And that, speaks to his leadership yeah it's like you know like people could just move on to the next job right but like people stay because like they believe in him and what he does and Mm -hmm. and the kind of character that he is yep again very good pick all right carbs your third pick oh it's already the third um uh founder of kindred jessica de mesa shout out who is now (laughs) jessica de mesa lim just recently got oh, married. Oh my gosh! Congrats. You know we're not even close. Like yeah. uh, I, I, I should probably be. Sure, but I am a huge fan. Also, like I also use like Kindred because, um, like I, I think yeah, women's health. It's also been like really shitty. Like so, they were able to like aggregate that, and I've been like recommending it. It's kind of like a viral like um amongst other women. Okay, um yeah, you probably don't know all the stuff we need to get checked. 
I have um, a wife, so <laughs> I I, I kind of have an idea. Okay, uh-huh. so um, so and and it's very hard to like research about it and like yep. and so for them they've like aggregated that they've made it like tech enabled and like it's it's really just. Like, yeah, I tried their clinic and everything. Like, a lot of my friends did also. So, it's also, like, a business I really hope will succeed. Because I think that um, apart from, like, really, like, good quality healthcare, it's, like, the education part mm. of their model. Like, yeah. yeah absolutely. All right. Mel, your third pick. Um, Nina Dizan of Colorette. Like, Shout out! Nina Nef Dizan Della. making yeah. another appearance. Okay. I mean, I… <laughs> Like I mean, I met her because like I Fox love, Mod, I love right? the makeup. The yeah. makeup is really good. Yeah, yep. and I was like, "Girl, we gotta export this." <laughs> so we are what a pitch. <laughs> <laughs> we are working on exporting her products, nice. but it's really like just the advocacy for like women and you know like um, loving yourself and your body and like it's just very very empowering I think yeah. but it's also just the business that she's built it's like she has a cult following yep. it's like you know I mean you're not just talking about because she's an influencer on TikTok it's like she legit has a cult following because the products are good Yeah. so it's like you know it's like well like it's 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 almost sometimes like you know, sometimes she feels um, unsure of herself. I remember she was like, I don't have like a Singapore entity or something. And I introduced her to my, the guy that set up my Singapore entity. But it's like, girl, you've got everything else figured <laughs> out. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you know, so I, I think she's like really, really a strong female inspiration, I think. And, you know, she's something that, you know, people, we need her. Like, you know, the startup scene needs her. Like, the startup scene needs a different kind of, like, hustle. Like, she's yep. hustled herself. And I bumped into her in the Tatler dinner. Yeah. I told her, Mel, I mean, um, Nina, people are giving you flowers already on Founders Only. And you still keep, and I showed her the recibo on my WhatsApp. Three times she she scenes on me. Can you not make it a four? And it's like, okay, I will guess on Hustle Share soon. Okay, so watch out when we do discuss this the hustle behind Colorette soon on Hustle Share. All right, Carbs, your fourth pick. Uh, Stephanie C of Thinking Machines. Abs- absolutely. <laughs> okay, why, why Steph C? Another... Well, She's uh, not just like a town sister. So we have this like sisterhood in towns. Okay. Outstanding Women Nation Service. But like I, I really admire how she's grown her company. And then yeah. regional. Like yeah. that is hard stuff. Um, And uh, you know she actually like bootstrapped it. You know really yeah. like. You know and, and I've gotten a lot of like amazing advice from her. Also um, you know like. Amazing advice in terms of like leadership and also like data science related stuff. Yeah. So just really like a fan of her company and like all the work it's done. Yeah. Absolutely. Mel, your fourth pick. I'd say like RJ Ledesma of One. Wow. Okay. So why is this interesting for me? Like when I was starting One Export, um, part of why I wanted to start it was because of Mercado. Uh, right, like uh, Mercato, Mercato Central, right? Yeah. And it's like, it's more because, like, I liked how he incubated, um, you know, food ideas, yep. you know, that eventually, you know, if you want, if they wanted to make a restaurant, like, it was a testing ground. They're right? making me hungry. I want right. Guagua's best, <laughs> Hungarian. That's my always Ooh, my go to. Yeah, yeah. But, mm-hmm. like, so, so, um, the reason why I appreciated like things like that, right? Where like, you know, it, it seemed like a very, very simple idea. But it's like bizarre. But like it was a very, very specific um, ground for incubating food ideas. And like when we started One Export, um, I think it was very important for us to, you know, incubate small businesses, right? Yeah. So they did not know how to start exporting, what to do, mm-hmm. what did we need to do to make them export. And I kind of just followed the Mercato Central model. It wasn't mm-hmm. like, it wasn't like I made a bazaar, right? It yeah. wasn't, but it was like, oh, okay, these are the things you need. And yeah. then when you, when you're done with this, we can export you, right? And so it was kind of like, um, that, that, that was that I think, you know, I mean, people, that for granted now but back then you know when Mercato was like starting yeah. you know 
it 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 was something. It, it you know it was a big thing. Where like yeah. you know when when you're you're part of that market, when you're part of the BGC market, like yep. like it was something. And so I think just giving that chance to small businesses, um, you know, like I I figured at least in my young brain was like. Yeah, you know, I, we could do this. We could do this yeah, for small businesses. Absolutely. And again, such a nice guy. He is a, He's the one who hosted my wedding. Oh, nice. Oh. And he's also my ninong in my oh. wedding with Ninang Vanessa. <laughs> amazing, amazing people. Uh, and again, super humble. Very, very uh, selfless in the way they do. And again, just like you, just, I don't know where he gets his energy. Just so much energy. Oh my God. <laughs> such an amazing person. Last and final pick for you, Carps. Oh, last. Um, yeah, uh, Kim Yao. Oh my Cloud god, <laughs> Kim Burley Yaoza. I call her Kim Yaoza. Why? Uh, no, um, uh, super. I mean, she started, she also started a, another company before Cloud Eats, right? Like, um, she was involved with Boozy, and like, um, no, I, I think, um, uh, I mean, with all the people I mentioned, like, I'm a huge fan of like their products, and you know, but uh, like, Kim's also just someone like. She's helped me a lot with like um just like random questions. I feel like, hey, do you can you recommend like a lawyer or like you know <laughs> very accommodating and 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 I do think like she's one of the entrepreneurs like I've met like who's like pretty humble. You know um seems like you can give her feedback. Uh, she takes it well and like uh, really seems to be quite strategic yep. about like the business also um so um yeah she's she's like one of those that i've asked every now and then like for just random advice yeah so you know why i respect him so much remember my first startup it was nightlife right yeah you know what kim's uh what what kim made her killing she used to be a partner of the palace Ooh. Oh, okay. Embassy days, Republic days. Oh my gosh. Palace oh, days. wow. She ran that thing. Yeah. Damn. Damn it is. And oh my God, when we had biggest, these biggest uh, Swedish house mafia, Alesso, Tiesto, whatever, she's always the person, uh, one of the, uh, her team is behind that. But man, do you, can you just imagine? I, I ran the guest list of a club. She ran the whole damn thing. <laughs> Damn. And it made it profitable. No, yeah, I think she's like really had a lot of experience and you know, um And she's not as she's probably just a, a year older than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or two years older than me. So yeah, it, so exactly. I, I felt like, you know, um again, I'm not even close with game, like she might be surprised him, but I, I, she's, um yeah. I, she's like someone I, I saw her like back on what she's done. It's like, oh, like she's done a lot for her age, you know. Because I mean, you know how she started out. She started out as a promoter in college. She be she became so good. She became part of management. Mm. She had shares, Amazing. ran the clubs, and look look at the size of clubs from Emba Emba days. Ooh, wow, yeah. Emba is so yeah. <laughs> right. I know what Tita Mel you, you it's did. Emba. Like we're just covering really from the same generation. <laughs> <laughs> Emba to Republic, to Palace. It became Valkyrie, and now it's Silo. You know that. That thing is a has Kim Yao all over. That's why I call her Kim Yaoza because that's her um, her promoter name. Oh, hosted by Kim Yaoza, and easily one of the best female entrepreneurs in this country. Whatever she touches turns to gold. Yes, your last pick, Mel. Yeah, I guess like Crystal Lee Gonzalez. Like yep. I have to say, like you know, it's hard. I, I was saying this. It's hard to find like people. You admire, right? And then like, wow, she has done it all, honey. Like she mm. has done Honest Bee, right? Pick Canva, Picaru, right? Viber. And it's just amazing how, you know, it's hard to manage, right? Yep. It's hard to manage. She's a mom. Now. And she is a mom with three kids. <laughs> like, you know, and how? she was she was recently giving me advice. Like I you know, every time I make a new milestone, I have a kid. And it's like, honey, like, how do you do it? It's like, <laughs> good for you. She's like, like, it's amazing. It's like, I mean, it's and it's really just like a testament to like working moms who can have it all. It's like, you know, I kind of just admire that because it's like, those brands were hard to run. Yep. Like, it's not like, you know, Viber is number one. It's not WhatsApp. Right? Like, it's like, yeah. you know, and it was because of 
her. Like it was like, you know, like these are things that are not easy to run. It, it's, it's, it's a hard business to begin with. Technically, the odds are against you. And it's like, wow, she did it so well with like focus and like, you know, and running the startup with a family. It's like, wow, I do not know how you did that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching Hustle Share on YouTube. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel to get more content like this. And to get the full audio episodes of Hustle Share and Founders Only, subscribe to our podcasts at Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.